Hi, my name is Bruno Silva. I'm one of the dentists at Brighton Implant Clinic. And uh, today our blog post is about uh, problems affecting the salivary glands. The first uh, that we're going to talk about is sile adenitis. Okay, so uh, sile adenitis is caused by a blockage in a salivary gland duct. Okay, the duct is essentially like a small tube where the saliva actually exits from. Uh, we have three pairs of salivary glands. They're the parotid salivary glands, which are just in front of the earlobe. We have the submandibular glands, which are again underneath the, submandib the, the mandible over here. And then we have the sublingual glands, which are quite small. The features of sialadenitis are a pain associated with the salivary gland. So either with the, the, these glands on the side, the parotid glands or the submandibular glands, also some redness around those areas, a redness around where the actual gut duct exits into the mouth, uh, general type infective uh, symptoms like a fever, high uh, temperature, body temperature, also a feeling of being feeling generally unwell, as well as um, some tiredness. The most appropriate solution for something like this would be to visit your dentist or your general medical practitioner and speak to them about obviously the discomfort, the symptoms that you're feeling. Uh, usually a doctor or dentist would be prescribing a course of antibiotics and uh, coupled with some additional painkillers to help with the actual discomfort that something like this presents. Also, something like a, a hot uh, compress that you could apply to the actual affected area. Um, some massage of those salivary glands can also help to increase the flow of saliva and to try and create some kind of drainage of that, uh, the blockage which is actually causing the swelling and also the discomfort. In very rare cases, if uh, one is predisposed to having recurrent bouts of sialadenitis, it's maybe a situation where uh, surgery may need to be uh, considered either to remove the blocked salivary gland uh, uh, obstruction or, or either even to possibly even remove a salivary gland altogether. But these are actually quite rare occurrences because usually this is a salivary gland obstruction, uh, usually within the duct and this can usually be cured by just removal of the salivary gland obstruction. Yeah, my name is Bruno Silva. Thanks for watching this uh, short uh, uh, clip. If you do have any uh, questions or would like any further information about dentistry, teeth in general, by all means, please uh, contact us on our website. It's www.brightonimplantclinic.co.uk.